The Dallas mayor and Dallas Mayor Pro Tem say the symbols of Confederacy in Dallas will come down, which is much more direct than was messaged last week. And the preliminary cost estimate just to take them down is $1.8 million. This all comes after a tense weekend protest by demonstrators pushing for their removal. Fox 4's Allison Harris is at the Confederate War Memorial in downtown Dallas with the update. Allison. Steve and Natalie, since the rally this weekend, there is an increased sense of urgency among the city council to get these monuments removed. And there's also enhanced security at both of the monuments in Dallas tonight. Now, we were just over at Lee Park near Uptown Dallas, where there is that statue of Robert E. Lee. We saw Dallas police officers there on guard, their cop cars parked right up next to that statue. We are now over near the convention center, Pioneer Park Cemetery, where that big Confederate monument is, where the protest happened this weekend. There are security guards here, and they say Dallas police have been here off and on since uh, Saturday night. And they say just yesterday, the barricade remained up. There was still that fence up from the protest, and they watched as several people tried to hop that fence and vandalize the monument here. So security remains. The mayor pro tem says these monuments are coming down, but there's a difference between a statue and a monument. He says there will be, need to be cranes and excavation to get these monuments removed. Now a task force is charged with figuring out what to do with these monuments once they're taken down, looking for a solution to a problem that is faced by cities across the country. We are going to take the statues down. The Dallas City Council has not yet voted to remove its two Confederate monuments, but Mayor Pro Tem Dwayne Carraway says there's no doubt they're coming down. Within hours Saturday, Mayor Mike Rawlings came out more strongly on the issue, first posting to Facebook that the task force would make a recommendation on what to do with the monuments by October, then posting, our city listened to those that spoke. We will take these statues down, and we will do so soon. With Mayor Mike Rawlings out of town Monday, Carraway was speaking on the city's behalf. He says, according to a memo from city staff, the estimated costs for the monument's removal is $1.8 million. And you okay. got that today? Yeah. What's your reaction? I was doing very $600,000 to remove the statue of Robert E. Lee and $1.2 million to remove the monument at Pioneer Park Cemetery. Who's going to take them down? Where are they going to go? And most of all, who's going to pay for the takedown? Those questions are now posed to a task force of Dallas citizens appointed by the city council Monday. Carraway tapped Dallas photographer and former photojournalist Jesse Hornbuckle. I would love for Dallas to be the example how to do it right. And what I'm looking for is the guidance from the people in the city. And I think that's where you, we make the big mistake with not including people in the city. Destroying the monuments is not an option for the city. You can take a wrecking ball and just go and destroy it. We, we're not going to destroy history. If it was a simple wave of the magic wand, I'd have played bewitched and wiggle my nose and it'd been gone. Okay? But where are they going? That's another fight. Caraway believes that removing the monuments, storing them, and then relocating them could cost $4 million. He expects city council to vote on removing them on September 27th and then expects the task force to have a recommendation for what to do with them on October 3rd. I am told that the first task force meeting will be a week from today. Natalie. Well, Allison, uh, Dwayne Carraway also talked about the protest Saturday. Police were there protecting protesters as well as that Confederate monument. How much money was spent on that? So, Natalie, we do not have hard numbers on this, but it, this is a question I asked Caraway. He says he believes that rally costs upwards of $60,000, $70,000. And he says it does get more expensive when things get more tense and more aggressive because officers are forced to use more resources. And keep in mind, there is a cost to this added security at these Confederate monuments, the Robert E. Lee statue and this Confederate monument outside of the convention center where we are tonight. Natalie? Sure, it adds up. All right, Allison, thank you.